number of people. Entity 55, codename Akathasia, is a bloodborne pathogen characterized by symptoms of restlessness, insomnia, and onset hyperkinesia. When a creature's blood that has been tainted by Entity 55 finds its way onto a wanderer's skin, the pathogen begins to burrow through the skin pores and spread into the new host's bloodstream. From there, Entity 55 travels to the spinal column, where it begins to interfere with the host's ability to control their own body by delaying native signals down the spine and sending its own. The creature's blood, blood, blood finds its way onto the wanderer's skin. skin. Stay at age 1, maybe maybe the hours, age of the Akathasia cells will not be fully integrated into the crystal. All the vessels will be wasted. And that the gadget spells are not, by the sense of the human cases. From the 5 to 9 hour mark, the Akathasia begins to spread. In stage 1, 1 to 3 hours, after contracting Entity 55, the host's motor cortex will begin to lose control of the body, resulting in slight shaking and sudden spasms. There is a small chance at this stage that the host's immune system will reject Entity 55, and the host will recover. This has only happened in approximately 25% of recorded cases. Stage 2, at the 4 to 8 hour mark, the host will undergo a period of temporary paralysis, followed by complete loss of control of the lower body. All muscles from the waist down begin to spasm uncontrollably. of akathasia begin to spread to the upper body. If the host is not properly restrained, the host's neck may be snapped by the resulting flailing. If the host survives this stage, Entity 55 appears to gain sentience. The akathasia parasite will do anything in its power to transfer to other wanderers, sometimes pretending to be its host body for months on end. Its plans usually culminate to a large number of people. Nobody knows exactly how Entity 55 gains sentience. The most popular theory is that the parasite repurposes the host brain, slightly restructuring the pathways to take its own needs, eventually creating new thoughts and new mind. 